So after 100 bronze packs, we have made. If you need any FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, check out MuleFactory.com. They're cheap and reliable, no bands, and have a super fast service to get your coins. And make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 at checkout to get a discount. What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in this video, we're going to be testing out the bronze pack method, a way to make coins solely from opening packs. So it's a really fun method. I'm going to test opening. I believe I'll do 100 bronze packs, and we will see if I make coins, if I lose coins, how many coins I make. Pretty much with a bronze pack method, 100% you will make coins. However, you may have to wait for the league SBCs to come out in order to sell some of the players or different specific SBCs. But it's a really fun method. If you want me to do another test with the bronze pack method, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe down below to the channel. But without further ado, I think it's time to get into the bronze packs. So as you can see, I have 360,000 coins on the account. We will be opening just the standard bronze pack, not the premium one, the standard bronze pack. These cost 400 coins. So I will open 100 bronze packs, which will cost me 40,000 coins. And we will see how many coins we do get back. So I think I'll probably just show the highlights of any players that I find which are actually worth anything because you probably don't want to watch me sit here and open 100 bronze packs. Uh, well, you, some of you might do, but probably not. So basically, in these packs, the player contracts aren't worth anything much. The player celebrations, there's none of that on the market, but yeah, nobody really buys that stuff. We're solely looking at the players and trying to find players which are used in some of the SBCs pretty much. As you can see, these players in this current pack are all currently 200 coins. Maybe eventually they will be used in an SBC, but I'll just keep them all in the club because I may as well keep them for, save them for a rainy day. And we will go through these packs until hopefully we can get some decent players. We, we need to get back 40K from 100 packs. So it's not too hard. We've already got one of these awful cards, which is worth 200 coins still. But yeah, I'll be back for you guys. I'll probably cut if I find a good player or I'll just go through all the packs and then show you the players I've gotten afterwards. Here's a player. There's one for 450 and then the other two are for 10k. So I'll probably just list them for about 2,000 coins to see if he might actually sell. But the rest of the players aren't the best. So I'll probably just put them in the club. So we got Sotiro. His stats actually look pretty good. And here we go, a decent player. So Sotiro. His min is 1.5k. So off him, I'll list him up for 1.2 just to make sure he sells on. So that is 1,000 coins back and then 39,000 coins to go. Obviously, we could quick sell all the players in every pack and get back 70 coins, but it really is not worth doing that. So um, yeah, we'll just keep all of these cards. There's not much point quick selling them for 70 coins. You could do, I guess, because then each pack would only cost you 330 coins. But you, I'll just keep them because I know eventually I will probably need them and there will be some random price fixed bronze card in one of the SBCs. We, again, we get one of these terrible cards. Okay. Oh, I got, I got a little bit excited. But yeah, Peanut is not worth anything. But yeah, I'm just going to go through the players and again, see if I can find any players worth over a thousand coins. Like there's the different kits and stuff, but... Like, you could list everything for 200 coins. And I reckon some of the stuff would eventually sell. But obviously, I want to be getting the good players out of these packs. The ones which are actually worth over at least 500 coins and would sell. Because so far, it's not looking the best. But we only need one player worth, like, over 6k. And that's a lot of our money back. What is up with getting all of these terrible cards? Nobody actually cares about these cards. We're going to be here a while because we started at 360,000 coins. We're going all the way down to 340,000 coins, so I probably will now just cut to when I do find players over a decent amount of value because you don't want to see me just go through these packs and find some 200 coin bronze players. So we got this guy, Ponceau. Again, he's only about 200 coins, but I do feel like this card might actually sell because a lot of people use French squads for some of the SBC, so I reckon I'll list him up. But again, it's nothing too special so far. Okay, so we've got a player. We have Ward. 
So there's one card for 400, one card for 300, and that is about it on the market. I think I'll list them for 250. Again, it's not the biggest profit in the world, but I'll take it. We got Bayern Munich Tifa. Can you actually list these on the... You can list these on the market, but like, will anybody actually buy these? I do not really know. But yeah, that's one player, I guess. Here we got another player, Lawal. So again... His lowest on the market is 450. I'll list him for 400 coins. So I guess we're like even on this pack. The other cards again, nothing really special. But I just, will people actually buy like these stadium themes? Like say you're a Bolton fan, would you buy the Bolton Wanderers stadium theme? Maybe, who knows? I may as well list it up on the market and actually see. Because if those TIFOs are actually selling, then you could actually make quite a lot of coins. Because I feel like you get one in about every other pack. Here we go. This is what I've been looking for, Moro. 66 rated striker, 83 pace. There's one for 700 coins. And the rest are very expensive. I reckon I might list him for about 3,000, you know. I may as well. The players, I'm not expecting them all to sell first listing. I reckon he would be worth more than 700 coins. Because once that card sells, mine at 3k is then the cheapest card on the market. So let's have faith that he sells. And that's 3,000 coins back. And we got another rare player. So we got Al Kabiari. He's got 300 coin bid. 1k, 10k, 1k, 2k. That is it. So I will list him up for... I'll go 850 coins to make sure he does sell quite quick. Because the card isn't very good. But he is just a rare bronze player. So I guess people are probably trying to use him in an SBC. The rest of these players... Um, Fabio Lopez, his minimum, I think, was 300. Yeah, one for 300 coins, one for 400 coins. I'll probably match it and go 300 coins as well. So from that pack, we basically doubled our coins. And then, obviously, we could quick sell the rest of the pack to get an extra 60 coins. However, I'll just keep them in the club. I think at the end, I will total an average quick sell price. Say we call it 50 coins a pack, because obviously, you would use some of the cards. If we average it 50 coins a pack for these 100 packs, we'd get an extra 5k back. Matthews, 3 for 450. It's like these sort of players, you just need somebody to buy it for over like a thousand coins and then you're laughing. Okay, I've got a decent player here. Pululo, Pululo. His minimum is 650 coins, so we'll put him up for 600. Again, just a random French bronze center midfielder. We've got another one of these cards, but this one is actually worth 400 coins. So I probably will list them up on the market. I just don't see the point. Why can nobody wants those cards in the game? Can EA just take them out? This guy, 250, 450. I reckon he'll probably sell for 350 after that 250 listing ends. Oh, this pack we've got. Wait, let me just check Crankshaw. 450 coins, 250 coins. I'll just send him a 200. We got Crankshaw, but we do have 100 coins guaranteed. So I'll take that. We've got, again, a badge. Like, I do feel like the random badges would probably sell, but it's just the time and all of the listing slots they would take up. It would take too long to sell them all. We are now on pack number 18. It's going to be a while till we hit 100, but it's, it's been okay so far. Okay, we've got a good player, Kim Tae-yoon. So this guy is just a non-rare bronze and 3.3 thousand coins is his minimum. So I'll list this guy up. It might just be a price fix. So I'm going to list him for 3k. Oh, Samuel, 76 pace. Is he worth anything? 450, 200. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I probably still will really list him for 200 coins because rare bronzes do seem to sell quite easily. We've got this guy, Adebayojo. So there's quite a few of his card listed above like 500 coins, but there's a few for 200. But I reckon he might in fact sell on, so it's worth listing him if he's got any sort of decent stats. English players, same more. Again, we could list all of the bronze English players for 200 because they probably would sell eventually, but it's just the time and the transfer list space. Walsh, gold, English, rare. Come on, be, be big. 950, 600, 350... I reckon that card for 350 will sell. So I'll list mine for 550 to undercut the next person. At least we've got another player who's okay. And the rest of these cards, we're getting so many duplicates already. This is pack number 25. We are a quarter of the way through all of our bronze packs. Sergio, rare Spanish. 900 coins, 700 coins. There we go. So we'll take that. I'll sell him for 650. Oh, Clemente, rare Spanish centre back. 
700 coins again. Rare card, Swiss. Here we go. So there's only four of him on the market. The cheapest is 1.2k and then there's a 1.5k. That 1.2k is about to expire, so I'll probably list it for 1.3. We've got another Dortmund player, Rachel. One's for 200 coins. There's two cards for 200. Okay, there's quite a few for 200, but I'll still list him up. I reckon he'll probably sell. But yeah, that's a decent pack. We've got Greyku, but nobody wants him. This is pack number 30. Can we get anything good in this in this little bronze pack? It does actually take quite a while to open these packs with all the animations. Then you've got the skip animation. We've got another terrible player. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no there's no point ever getting excited about these cards. Like they're all 10k. There's one for 300 and there's one for 700 coins. Like I'll probably will list mine for 650 to see if anybody ever buys it. But nobody is going to buy that card. And we got 100 coins. So again, I'll take the coins. We got this guy Kruger. There's one for 300, one for 200, another for 300. I'll probably go 250. Again, we get a terrible card, but we get 100 coins. So I'll take the coins. Oh, Karamoka. This guy must be worth some coins. 700, 350, 550. Why? He actually looks okay. I'll go 500 coins and hope somebody buys him at 350. Rodriguez. 86 pace left back. He's got to be worth. Is this guy been price fixed to 500 coins? Why? I'll probably just do 300 as well. I thought he'd be worth a bit, but I guess his league's not the best. Oh, rare. Laidlaw. Scottish. A goalkeeper. 5k and 900 coins. And that is it. How long's on the 900 coins? 44 minutes. Do you know what? I'm just going to hope someone's stupid. The next cheap is just 5k. I'm going to list him up for 4k and just hope somebody buys him. Because currently, I don't think we're in the best spot for making profit. Oh, this guy. 400 coins is his minimum. I'll list him for 350. Italiano. I should probably start listing some of the random bronzes for 200 coins. Because so far, I think we are down quite a bit. It's quite hard to work out because some cards have sold on. But we're 38 packs in, and I've not packed a player who's worth more than, like, 6,000 coins yet. McGoan, rare, 1k, 600 coins, and that is it. I'll list them up for 600. Oh, pack number 40. English striker, Desarevery. I can't pronounce his name, but why is he 450? This is literally the best player I've packed, like, best stats. I guess he's League 2. That's annoying. I thought he would actually be worth some decent amount of coins. Oh, a rare player. Valencia. Ooh, 4.3, 1.6, 1.9. There we go. I'll list him up for 1.5 thousand coins. Broom. Rare. 2.2k, 800 coins. And that is it. I just hope the 800 coin one sells and I'll list mine for 1.8k. Another rare player. Naughty. Now we're on a roll. Five, uh, he's only worth 500 coins, but we can sell him on for 450. And we do make profit on the pack, which is all we're basically trying to do in every single pack. So I'm happy with that one. Renault, here we go. French goalkeeper. F 200 coins, that's annoying. I thought he might be worth a little bit. And the rest of these players, nobody cares about. Canavan, rare player. 500, 250, 550. Again, I'm going to gamble that the 250 sells on and I'll sell mine for 450. And the rest of these players, no one cares. Okay, this is pack number 50. So we have now spent 20,000 no, 20, coins on bronze cards and we do get a okay player. I think that was, I think it's a rare bronze. If I can see cards right. Yeah, here we go. Hang Soik He. Come on. 800 coins, 250. It does look like... Oh, uh, not really. I was going to say, it looks like he's trying to be price fixed, but there were so many cards listed cheap, I don't think anyone cared. We got Wooler Cat, Wooler Cot. 200 coins, I'll list him up as well. So as you can see, we would be on 640,000 coins, pretty much exactly, but we've had the quick sell from packs. 
and also um, players have sold on the market. But we're halfway through the packs. We're going to power through the next 50. And I think we might currently be down, but I'd have to wait and see until we actually finish all of the packs. In this pack, we get Kim Tae-Hwan. Um, there's a few of them for 200 coins. I'll list them up. And also, we do get that 100 coin redeem, which is a nice little one. And some more duplicates that we can quick sell. Al Kuzamzi, rare player. 1.3k, 1k, 900 coins, 500 coins. Again, I'm just going to try and make the most out of I can. So I'm going to list them for 850. Hope the 500 coin card sells. We get some more coins back, but it's not looking the best at the moment. We get Maguire. How much? 200, 200, 300, 200. I'll list them up still. And we get by Munich player, we get ourselves a Wagner. He's 200 coins currently. I probably will list him up again. I'll just take that because if those both sell, we're up on the pack because those two will cover the cost of the pack and then we do get the quick sell value from the other cards. Oh, Sapala, rare. Ah, uh, 1.4. That's quite good. 1.4 thousand coins is its cheapest. I'll go 1.2 because the card looks absolutely terrible and I doubt it would sell. Look how many players we've got in that pack as well. Castan, Castan, come on. 1.5, 1k, 750, 600, 600 coins, it's okay, at least we're making some profit on this pack, we get 100 coin redeem as well, I'm getting quite a few of those now, look at this, we get two of these cards, we get Ramsey, 1k, 450, 400, at least with a lot of these cards, it's quite easy to check their price, so this guy is about 400 coins, so, again, we're even on this pack. We get two of those special cards, which are terrible. We get 100 coin redeem in this pack. Oh, Maglory. 89 pace, centre back. 4.9k, 2k, 1.2k, 950, 750. Ah, that's a bit annoying. We can get 750 for him. And we do have another 100 coin redeem. We've got Matheson. 76 pace right back, 500 coins, 600 coins. If we can get 500, oh, there's a 450. We can get 400 coins of him, so that is a decent pack, actually. Probably one of the better ones we've had so far. Eventually, the, you're always going to make money just because you can list your bronze cards for 200 coins each. And if two of those cards sell, which they would eventually if you relisted them however many times, you would make profit. However, I want to make quite a large profit which would require me trying to get a card which is worth a bit. Like one of these rare cards, like this guy is still literally 200 coins because his card is terrible. I don't know the league. I don't know the nation. We get a Dembele. 200 coins, I probably will list him up as well. Like if both of those sell, we make money on the pack. Right, or we're even on the pack, which is fine. Burns, 91 pace, right wing. Come on. Uh, 1.1, I'll sell him for 1k. There's 1,000 coins back. It's okay. We've got Beastin, uh, just a random English player. I will list him for 200 coins. And we have a coin redeem for 100 coins. So that pack was actually pretty good. They're improving. They are improving. Oh, another rare. Hecarison, 2,000 coins, 550, 1k. I'm going to be sneaky here and try and sell him for 950. That's what we got to do to start making some profit. Sterling, um, yeah, again, I'll list him for 200 coins. Because on my transfer list, we've only listed 65 out of 100 items. And that was pack 76. So, 24 to go. We're three quarters of the way there. Banks. He's probably only 200 coins. But I still will list him up. And the rest of the players. I uh, don't really care. Quick sell the rest of that. We get another stupid card. And we get 100 coins. Oh, we get Bayern player. Stansic. Only 200 coins. But again, I will list that up. 100 coins again. And none of those players seem like they're going to be worth anything. Branth weight. 750 coins. 950 coins. 950 coins again. I'll go... I'll go 900. That's a decent card. Some Everton fans picking him up. Oh, we've got Duplica Rare card. Lovren. 4.3k. Oh, I got very excited then. 300 coins. 
350. We can, to be honest, list them for whatever. The rare cards, it just depends if anyone's going to buy them. And they will just pay whatever the cheapest is currently on the market. In this pack, we get Latour. He's 200 coins, so I will list him up. And we've picked up another English player, Young. He, again, he will be 200 coins, but I will list him up. So I think if you just get any players from a strong region, it's worth listing them up for 200 coins because eventually somebody will buy them. Well, you could do it with every player, but obviously it's a higher chance if the player is from a decent, decent nationality region. There's a lot of players in this pack. And we do get Lottie. Uh, that's a good pun. We get this French guy. 200 coins. I'll take it. And we get a coin redeem for 100 coins. We get a Bayern Munich Stadium theme. So, like, these, I feel like somebody might buy it. Like, who knows? So, I'll put that on the market. Oh, I think that was Bayern Munich 2, actually. That that actually makes more sense. So, it's like their second team. But we're on pack number 87. We're getting through them. 13 to go. Oh, 92 rated striker. Oh, 62 rated, 92 pace. And he's only worth 350, 300 coins. Oh, well. It's, it's some coins back. We get Lennon. 200 coins so we would be up on this pack if our players do in fact sell on we get this guy but he's not going to be worth anything yang yiming how much is he worth is the question 1.4 400 coins 950 coins 450 coins yeah i just have to list him for 400 not too much i can do with that we get another french player I will just list him for 200 coins. And we are now on to the final 11 packs. Suman, rare player, and he's worth 200 coins. At least if he's rare, there's a high chance that he sells. So I'll take that. We get another one of these players. We get right, 250 coins. Okay, 450. There's one for 250, and then the next cheapest was 350. So we might, in fact, get 350 for the right. And now this is pack number 90. 10 to go. Comedy A. Give, give me just give me one player who's worth like 8,000 coins or give me a bronze inform. I'd be happy with that. Just give me one decent player. Bowden, Spurs player, 500 coins, 550, 400. I'll probably just list him for 350. There might be a random cut for 200, but then mine can sell afterwards. We get El Yanusi, but yeah, he's not worth anything here. We get another English player, Alarakia. 200 coins, I'll list him up. We get a rare manager, but nobody cares about managers. But that was pack number 91. Final eight now. We get a couple duplicates. We get Bajic, French goalkeeper. I will list him up for 200 coins. And we do get ourselves an English centre mid of Barker. And I will list him up for 200 coins as well. So we have 17 slots left on the transfer list. And we have seven packs to go. So it will be good timing. Like we won't actually run out of slots, which is decent. I just want to get some good players. We get Diara. Again, French player. I will just list him up for 200 coins. And the rest of the pack, we don't care. Another English player. Matheson. 500 coins. Oh. Okay, we'll get 450. That's decent. And there is a 100 coin redeem in the pack. So that one isn't actually too bad. We will redeem that. Ricard. Richard. Wow, 350, 250, 200. This is pack number 95 as well. There's five packs to go. We get Duncan. Again, I'll list him up for 200 coins. We've got another player here. We've got Dean. We'll list him up for 200 coins. And I've got 12 slots left, so we'll just list up this Rudiger for 200 coins as well. Because there's not many packs left. I doubt I'm going to fill all the slots. We get Falkingham. 200 coins, list him up, and that is about it for this pack. Pack number 99, we do have two English players. Wait, there's no way this guy's worth... Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way he's worth more than 200 coins. Lennon, oh yeah, I've already listed up a Lennon, actually. And we've got Leasley, 200 coins again. So that was pack 99, and we have one... So final pack, pack number 100. Come on, EA. Give me something good. Give me like an icon in a bronze pack, which I don't even think is possible, but if there would be the time, it would be now. And we get Barnett. He's worth 200 coins. And then there's that German duplicate player, which I probably will list up for 200 coins as well. So 100 packs done.
We have sold 17 items already. I wasn't actually expecting that many to sell this quick. I've been opening packs for about an hour. So all of these cards have actually, in fact, sold on. Which is okay. We sold on the... What was expensive? Valsinu for 1.5k. We've sold... Wait, was that one for 3k? No, 850. Uh, and then 600 coins, 250, 350, 200. So those cards have sold on. Uh, nobody bought that card. Why does it say expired? But it's not. That's a bit broken. But yeah, we've sold a few cards already. I will clear those cards. And then left on the market, we do have a few cards. Some of the listings are expiring because those are the ones we listed right at the start. But basically, if we would have quick sold all of the items in those packs, like if we call it 50 coins per pack, that's an extra 5,000 coins we would get back. So we have 73 items listed. And call it a 5k from all of the cards we've got if we would have quick sold them. So we're looking to try and get back over 360,000 coins. Which we're going to need to get 27k worth from these 73 players. Which could, could work. Maybe not. But I'll wait for these cards to sell on. And I'll be back with you guys at the end to see our final coin total. So after 100 bronze packs we have made a grand... Total of minus 3,000 coins? No, no. So, uh, pretty much all of these players have now sold on, as you can see. A few of the big players did sell for decent prices. And we still have quite a lot of players selling. So, I have relisted my players a few times. So, left to sell. If we add up those players, there's probably about 2,000. Basically... When these players sell, we are even on coins as what we started with. However, all of those extra players we have in the club, all of those contracts, managers, balls, kits, if we were to quick sell all of them, say if we call it an average of 50 coins per pack, it would have been an extra 5,000 coins. So, overall, we're up about 5,000 coins. Obviously, you'd want to hold on to the bronze players, because ideally, I would want to do this if there are League Squad Builder Challenges out again. Because that is when the bronze players get price fixed and they're worth six to 8,000 coins. However, currently, you can do this. It's very tedious though and you don't make that many coins. But you do make a profit. You don't lose coins. Which is a positive, I guess. But you're better off spending your time sniping if you actually want to make some coins. But if you just want to open some packs and have some fun... Do bronze packs because they're safe. The 400 coin ones, you don't lose money. You can actually make some coins. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I feel like this video has gone on really long. I didn't really realise how long it would take me to open 100 packs. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next video.